this is the place where we gather when we're responding to an emergency. So we gather our team together here in OHA along with some partners so that we can coordinate our response and make sure we're meeting the needs of the community in Oregon. So we come together and people leave their titles from what they do at their regular desk jobs at the door. They bring their expertise and knowledge here, um, but they're assigned a specific function here. We have one person, an incident manager, who manages everyone you see behind me and everything that goes on in this room. I want to assure the folks of Oregon right now that we have the capacity to test right now. Our colleagues in Hillsboro, where the Oregon State Public Health Laboratory is located, can test up to 80 people a day right now, and we can test up to 1,500 tests with the supplies we have on hand. With that ability now, we can obtain swabs in the community, get them to our state public health lab, and have those results turned around quicker. We are following the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention guidelines that folks who have traveled to an affected area with high rates of COVID-19, had contact with someone who confirmed to have COVID-19, or hospitalized patients with serious respiratory illness that don't have another explanation are who we're testing right now. As we learn more about this virus and we see this virus in our communities, that guidance is continuing to change. And that's you know, what we do in public health. We prepare um, to respond to these emergencies. As we learn more, we incorporate that into our response. This is a new virus and things keep changing, so we need to keep on top of things and make sure that we're providing the best um, guidance and recommendations out to the public that we can based on a changing situation. And know that you know, what we say today may change in a week as we learn additional things. We are committed that as we identify presumptive positive cases of COVID-19, we'll get that information out to you very quickly. As this is a new virus, we don't have all the answers on what's going on right now. And so that's why we ask and we provide the advice that people who are sick should stay home while they're sick until they recover and then return to work or school. That's one of the best ways we have to limit the spread of this and other diseases, along with the old standby of washing your hands and covering your cough and sneeze. They may seem very low tech, but we know that they're tools that we have that can be effective against this virus.